Hello ladies and gentlemen, Garanji here. Today I have something quite interesting to show you. So what you see behind me is a 16-bit binary divider. Now if you aren't quite sure what binary is, or how it works, I'm going to give a quick explanation. So in binary, a bit stores a 1 or a 0. So a 1, I'm representing with a lever that is on, and a 0 is being represented by a lever that is off. In binary, the value of a bit is determined by its position. So from right to left, the value increases by a factor of 2. So your first bit has a value of 1, your second one a value of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. So how do you get a number that's not directly represented by one bit? Well, that's pretty simple. For example, if we want 13, we could do 8 plus 4 plus 1. So 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 13 in binary is, in fact, 1101. So let's do some division. So where do we start? On the right-hand side, we have our dividend, which is the number we're dividing. And on the left, in the blue, we have our divisor. And that's what we're dividing by. So let's pick something simple that we can easily do in our head to verify, to start. And as we go, I have, I have some more complex calculations we'll do in a second. So let's start with 10. 10 divided by 3. How about that? So we got 8 and 2, and we get 10. And divided by 3, 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we're going to press this button, and it's going to start doing our calculations. So this is going to take a few seconds. Uh, to calculate each bit, is 1.2 seconds, so that means this is on a 1.2 second clock cycle. And since it has 16 bits, it's going to take 19 seconds to calculate. So here we go. All done. So 10 divided by 3 is in fact 3. But wait, we've got our remainder of 1, which is right. Alright, so let's do another calculation. So the way you reset this is you just hit this lever here. For a second, and there you go, and then you can turn it off, and that just resets everything. And then I'm going to turn off all our inputs so that we can put new inputs. So I've got a little bit of a bigger calculation this time, not too big. So this one's going to be 177 divided by 9. So 177 can be represented by 128, 32, 16, and 1. I'm going to divide that by 9, which is rather simple, 8 plus 1. So let's uh, give that a go. So as that's chugging along, I'm going to give a brief explanation of how this works. So this no uses what's known as a shift and restore algorithm. So all that means is we're shifting in the first bit, and then we're going to subtract by the value we're dividing by. It's then, based off the most significant bit, we're either going to restore the original value before the subtraction, or we're going to take the result of the subtraction and then in both cases, we're going to shift it over 1. And then our new bit would come in, and it would repeat the same thing over and over again 16 times. So there's not much more to it than that. But if you want to know more, there's plenty of resources online. If you Google binary division shift and restore algorithm, it'll come up pretty quick. It's easy to find. All right. So we've got our output of 177 divided by 9. So we've got 16 plus 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So we've got 19, which is the correct answer. We've also got a remainder of 6. So that is that's true. You can check that with a calculator or do it in your head. Numbers aren't too big yet. Okay, and this next number is rather high. So I'm going to reset it one more time. There you go. It's all cleared. All right, so this last number I have is 53,000. 809 divided by 19. So <laughs> that can be represented by a 1, a 4, a 64, a 512, a 4,096, 16,384, and 32,768. And then we're going to divide by 19. 19 is not too difficult either. We just need 16 plus 2 plus 1. And there we go. We've got 19. All right, while I was doing that, I'll explain how you can make this bigger or smaller. So if you make it smaller, it's pretty simple. You're just chopping stuff off. But making it much longer than this will increase the amount of time it takes to calculate by a lot. 
because every 15 blocks you have to have one of these repeaters, which slows down your clock cycle. So for every additional repeater you have, you need to increase your clock cycle by 0.2 seconds. But then you also got to remember you're increasing the amount of bits you have to calculate too. So your just time just gets much fast, bigger or fat, longer to calculate much faster. So here's the output of our 53,809 divided by 19. And you can see it's 10110001000. So that is 2,833, which is in fact the correct answer. You're welcome to check this on Google. You can type 2,833 into Google and type in binary and it will spit out the ones and zeros. And we've got a remainder of two, which is correct. So there's not much more to this contraption than that. I just wanted to show it off to you guys. There's going to be a world download in the description if you want to see it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you loved it, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.